He's very shalwar coming. Hey, you representing baby. You just want to be local in Pakistan. My final day in Pakistan after an incredible two week trip. Oh, we're going to miss you, dude. Don't go, stay or come back again, I guess. Like, you know, I wish you could stay more, but I know you got to go to other countries and check it out. You know what I mean? So anyway, let's continue, guys. What do you, what do you love about Pakistan? Deanna and I traveled with an awesome crew from Karachi to Lahore to Islamabad to Peshawar to Kashmir and I've been blown away by what I've experienced. So lucky. Pakistan is already one of my favorite countries in the world. Wow. We're walking through one of the busiest streets here in Lahore. It is amazing. It's so many things happening. You don't even know where to look. In Pakistan, when the men greet each other, they do this. How hug, shake hands firmly. <laughs> Trust me when I say that it's not at all what the media makes it out to be. Here are 10 things I love about Pakistan. Ooh. One, hospitality. Of course. It's amazing. Everyone's like so friendly and saying hi to me on the streets. Man, this place is cool. This is how I will remember Pakistan. Their curiosity, warm smiles, and open arms. They that will not really let true. you pay for anything, and they will always treat you with respect. Oh yeah, and you will get tons of gifts. Two, English speaking. <laughs> so I'm born Karachi. I have Chinese nationality. Wow. I do not look Chinese at all. Given that Pakistan was under British occupation for 200 years, many people that you'll come across can communicate in English. Hi guys, my name is Anna. That is true. If you go there, you think Pakistani don't know English? Uh 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 uh. You are mistaken. You go there, every other person is speaking English. And I'm a traveler from Pakistan. This allows me to. If you don't trust me, Listen to Drew. Connect with locals on a deeper level. My brother. Yeah, brother from another mother. How about that? And it just allows travel in general to be easier. Three, tea culture. Hot uh, milk tea. Or the tea is actually very true about tea. Every meal got to have tea. In the morning when you wake up, instead of coffee, tea. Around noon, if it's summer, it's really hot outside. They don't give a crap. They will drink tea. When the um, evening come, tea. Before you sleep, tea. Everything tea, baby. Or chai. That's that's how we are, Indian Pakistani. We love tea. Tea keep us calm. It's consumed many times throughout the day. First thing in the morning, last thing at night, and after every meal. Or if you go to Peshawar, exactly. they drink this green herbal. Oh my god, yes. Peshawar, you go there, or Hunza, or Kashmir. They go with green tea. On Islamabad, Lahore, Karachi. You go there, it's only chai, baby. Chai. Tea, and it's amazing. Four, style. This is called a shavar kameez, is a traditional Pakistani clothing worn by both men and women. women. And oh, also yeah. the traditional hats. It. They change depending on the region. He looked pretty good with the hat. Region you visit. And of course, the open toe sandals. Five, beards. I can't believe that seemingly 90% of men have beards. Beard. Not just small or clean cut ones. I'm oh. talking about massive long beards. Way and I'm too. digging it. Six, truck art. Pakistan is notorious for oh its colorful art. Even when I went to Pakistan, when I saw those trucks with the arts all over the buses, oh my God, they are thing to see in Pakistan. They say you will fall in love with you. Like how they, there's like poetry on it. There's some other stuff on it. A lot of stuff on it. Love it. On trucks and rickshaws. It has evolved over the decade to include poems, symbols, and icons of their culture. Exactly. Seven, it's cheap. In my opinion, Pakistan rivals Bangladesh for the cheapest country in the world. You can get a massive lunch like this for less than three U.S. dollars, or it's a haircut crazy, right? for seventy cents. And the best part. A haircut in America, where I am in New Jersey, the haircut is about eighteen dollars. <laughs> 
if you convert it to in Pakistani rupees, I would say that would be like about thousand some rupees, almost like two thousand rupees haircuts in Pakistani. If you convert that eighteen dollar, crazy, right? And he says about wait, what do you say? How much is a haircut? like this for less than three US dollars or a haircut. Seventy cents. Oh my god. Amazing. And the best part is that you don't have to pay cash. There's an app called Easy Pesa where you can just oh, swipe your phone and that's it. Eight incredible nature. Pakistan has every kind of landscape you can very much agree. Think of, including beach, desert, and seven of the ten highest peaks in the world. It's incredible to drive around this country and just gaze out the window. Nine, exactly. Cuisine. I found Pakistani food to be an equal mix of Persian and Indian, which makes sense because it's located right in between the two nations. True. Lots of kebabs, naan, and yogurt, as well as curries, biryani, and lassi. Ten gifts. This is for you, Drew. Thank you. So many gifts. Wow. In fact, I've never received so many gifts before in my life. I have like 10 gifts. I don't even know how to bring it on the plane to Lahore. <laughs> People going out of their way to give me something special just because I came to their country. It's unbelievable. How awesome is that, right? Like you go there for just fun for your own self and then you end up getting gifts from people. Wow. That is so amazing, man. Amazing. how generous the people are in Pakistan. Agreed. Okay guys, this is my last video in Pakistan. I've had an incredible trip going all over the country and I love it so much that I'm already planning my next trip back soon. Wow, that is so incredible. We're gonna miss you, dude. We will miss you. But you said you're gonna be back again. We will welcome you with our open arms, baby. Come back and stay this time. Next time, stay for a month or so, man. You will, you probably haven't seen anything yet, so I, I'm pretty sure when you come back, people will take you around other places that you've never seen. So, we're gonna wait for you to come back. Hey, Allah This is home. Oh. That is so cool. He learned Urzu, how to say bye, Allah and he said he's gonna be back again. That is so incredible. That's that's tell you how much he love people of Pakistan, man. That is incredible news for Pakistan. He will come back. He will have more vlog going around more places that he never seen before. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna fall in love with more and more. He will come again and again and again. Just gotta give it to Drew, man. Drew, you're awesome, bro. So I hope you guys like my reaction. Hope you will subscribe my channel. Hope you will share my videos. Hope you will check all the videos that I'm gonna post here, here, here. Check them out. They are also new. Probably you haven't checked them, so check them out. And again, thank you so much for watching, guys. Anyway, guys, I gotta go to work. I'll see you guys later. Till then, please.